Hello everyone, my name is James Farron. I am the Regional Manager at the University of Hertfordshire. Today I will be talking to you all about our fantastic computer science department and all the wonderful programmes on offer. Studying computer science at the University of Hertfordshire. So, why study computer science? Well, Computer science influences all aspects of life and helps provide and maintain the modern high technology world and drives econo economies and society. At the same time, there are many exciting career opportunities for, success for successful graduates. Why study at the University of Hertfordshire? Well, the computer science part was, studied, it was established in 1965. We are actively engaged in cybersecurity teaching, training and research. The School of Engineering and Computer Science puts exciting industry-leading technology into your hands. You'll benefit from world-class learning and experiential facilities to enable you to develop the practical skills you need to gain the dream career in different fields of engineering and computer science. Our facilities include commercial flight simulators, supersonic wind tunnels, driving simulators, specialist artificial intelligence, robotic labs, all designed to give you the skills you need to succeed. As a student with, with, within our school, you'll benefit from strong links with businesses, will enable you to kickstart your career with connections in, com with connections in companies such as Airbus, Royal, Rolls-Royce, Apple, and Microsoft. Now, the best facilities make for the best educational experience. All computer science students have access to excellent university school facilities for classes, self-study and lab work, all of our facilities are industry strand standard to ensure graduates with the skills and practical knowledge you need to succeed in world of world of work. You can see here state of the art computer labs, smart system labs and pen penetration testing facilities. Now, what computer science programs can you study at the University of Hertfordshire? Well, first of all, it's very important to bear in mind that UH computer science programs are accredited by the British Computer Society. Now that gives real weight and real strength to the overall programs that you can study. It's those kind of accreditations that you wanna look at because it really indicates just how great the course is and just how great that's gonna get you the kind of jobs that you want. Accreditation is what employers look at when they're looking at your degree. So, BSc on computer science. This course is ideal if you have any interest in technology and software development and how they can be applied to benefit individuals and organizations. Core topics include foundations of computing, programming multimedia, network databases, operation systems, software engineering, professional issues. In addition, you'll choose from a wide range of specialist modules to tailor your degree to the interests, as well as gaining understanding of the wider context in which systems operate. You'll develop communication and teamwork skills. Thanks to the nature of this degree, you'll develop the broad skills many employers are looking for while keeping the career options open. What will you learn? You will be taught the fundamental principles of the subject, which will be illustrated to current real-world technologies and applications wherever possible. In your first year, you will be taught the foundations of computer science, including a problem-solving approach to programming, modeling, representing data, computer design, networks, operation systems, and devices. The second year, you'll deepen your understanding and develop more advanced skills. You will study contemporary issues in social profession, ethical and legal aspects of computing. Modules also cover software development, databases, algorithms, and data structures, operating systems, and networks. The second year gives you the opportunity to choose the additional modules too. The work placement study abroad year you may also choose to undertake paid placement or study abroad at one of our world partner universities. Final year, there are core modules on computer security project planning, the user experience and concurrency, plus two modules of your choice. You'll also undertake an individual project, typically an extensive piece of practical written work. So, why would you choose this course? First of all, flexibility. You may choose this course to emphasize the mainstream computer science and software development or change another BSc in your program. You can be part of a highly regarded, well-established computer science department with excellent facilities, strong research background, and links to business and industry. Prepare yourselves for a career in IT sector through a mix of academic professionals and pr practical study with opportunities for industry, certifications of a per placement for, of a paid placement year. Previous students have worked placements to companies including Microsoft, IBM, BT. You will join lively academic community in the School of Computer Science at Hertfordshire and one of the largest and most established in the country. You will be taught by a highly qualified staff, most with PhD or other advanced degrees in addition to research, teaching or professional experience. The school has an excellent research record and strong links with local and national businesses, in particular with employers. Recent graduates from computer science have gone on to work at amazing 
organizations including Sega Europe, Canon UK and EE. Now, there's a number of variants of BSc computer, studies, uh, computer science courses as well. Um, Artificial intelligence is the discipline in which computers, other de devices, and designed to, develop to dis display intelligent characteristics. This course adds specialism in AI to broad-based and technology and software development. Particularly in the first two years, you'll find an emphasis on software development, professional program, the modeling and design of systems data, the principle of networking and user experience. This gives you the core skills to specialize in AI, where you can study and analyze design and construction of knowledge-based and expert systems, artificial life, robotics, systems based <coughs> around the use of neural networks. BSc on computer science with the software engineering. Software engineering is a discipline that applies professional, pro professional engineering techniques to the construction and evolution of large complex software systems. This course adds a specialism in software engineering, a broad base in computer science in the first two years that has emphasis on software development, professional programming, the modeling and designs of systems data, the principles of networking and user experience. Building on this foundation, you'll study software engineering and develop in depth and learn how to analyze, design, develop and evaluate computer based systems. You'll also learn the application of engineering techniques such as those relying on software metrics. BSc Computer Science Networks. Computer networking is a central part of modern life. From the network application that run on smartphones and the internet to the secure and system demanded by the global business. This course adds a specialism in networking to a broad-based technology and software development. Particularly in the first two years, you'll find an emphasis, emphasis Emphasis, software development, professional programming, the modeling of systems and data, and the issues that arise in the networked environment. From this foundation, you'll learn about protocols, network design, constructing distributed applications, and defending against cyber attacks. The course will enable you to create and evaluate systems applications with the networked environment. Now, what about our postgraduate programs? MSc Computer Science. One of a range of degrees from the taught master's program at the School of Computer Science, our course is especially designed for graduates with numerous subjects other than computer science. It is mostly taught separately from the other courses. It intensively covers a broad range of key principles and techniques in computer science. There is an emphasis on software development, in particular with applied to solving problem solving skills within the disciplines. Depending on the module chosen, it can lead to a career in other system development, IT management, or development of advanced applications in specific disciplines. So some of the, just to name a few of the um, modules that we are offering, operating systems and networks, computer architecture, uh, systems modeling, programming program design, um, professional issues, software development exercise, computer science master project as well. Now it's worth saying that this particular course is a conversion course. So for students who have started in one discipline, say for example, you've done a history degree, but you want to go into the world of computing and you want to become, you want to become a techie, this is the kind of course that you would like, you should study because it gives you that conversion and it will open new doors and opportunities for you. MSc Advanced Computer Science. This award is targeted at those who have a good honors degree in computer science on a very closely related subject and who wish to extend and deepen their knowledge into two more different subdiscipline areas. This course has enabled you to enhance the career prospects or prepare for program of research that requires knowledge of one or more of these subdiscipline areas. You will have a wide range of taught modules for which to choose and will be expected to complete a major project that extends and applies what you've learned on one or more of the taught modules they have taken. Just a flavor of some of the modules that you can study programming paradigms, network systems administration, advanced computer science masters, data mining, measures and models for software engineering, program for software engineers, software engineering practice and experience, distributed system security, secure systems programming, multicast multimedia network, wireless mobile ad hoc, um, ad hoc networking, artificial life with robotics, neural networks and machine learning, theory and practice of artificial intelligence, information security management and compliance, digital forensics, penetration testing, cyber operations, investigative methods uh, of computer science and professional issues. So you can see there is a wide range of things that you can study there. It really gives the power to the student to determine what kind of computer science that they want to be and specialize accordingly. Now, MSc Intelligence and Robotics. The school has a strong international reputation for its research in artificial intelligence and robotics, and this expertise influences this course that explores current research practices in artificial intelligence and robotics. This MSc has le le led to careers such as a designer intelligent systems or in, re or in research. 
some of the um, modules that are off in this course, artificial life with robotics credits, um, neural networks and machine learning, theory and practice of artificial intelligence, team research and development projects, legal and ethical practice ex exercise as well. MSC Computer Network and System Security. The MSC in Computer Network and System Security considers concurrent research and practice in the computer network and system security. You will develop technical expertise and practical skills in design management and evaluations of networks and the use of tools and techniques for system security. This MSC can lead to careers such as network systems design, administration, or security consultant. Some of the modules that you can study here, distributed system security, um, secure systems programming, network system administration. This course considers current uh, MSC cybersecurity. This course considers current research and practice in cybersecurity. You will be the fundamental and advanced aspects of cybersecurity in terms of theory, practice, policy, and security standards to enable critical cybersecurity decision make, making, um, the ex marking the extent threats to current and emerging systems and networks in the effects of countermeasures to such threats and compliance with the information security management standards and the social, legal, ethical issues relating to cybersecurity in context of digital forensics, information security management, penetration testing, and cybersecurity. Now, some of the modules that we offer in this particular course, distributed system security, professional work placement, um, information security management compliance, digital forensics, penetration testing, cyber and cyber operations. MSC Software Engineering. This course examines current research and practice in software engineering. You will develop knowledge and skills and models and methodologies, measures and tools that can be employed in software development and considers an engineering disciplines. Class consists of lectures, small group seminars, and practical work in all equipped laboratories. You use modern industry su st uh, standard software wherever possible. There are specialized facilities for networking and multimedia and project laboratory, especially for master students. In addition to scheduled classes, you'll be expected a significant amount of time in self-study as taking advantage of the extent of an up-to-date facility at the university. These include the Learning Resource Center, 24-7 library uh, with 1,500 computer workstations and Wi-Fi access. The study nets are versatile online study environment usable on and off campus and open access to all our labs. Now, MSc Data Science Analytics. The MSc in Data Science Analytics utilizes a strong international reputation for research in these areas. The expertise of our staff influence this course, which explores current research practices in data science and analytics, extending your knowledge and understanding of principles and practices of obtaining data from various sources, the essential uh, the various sources, the essential methods of pre-processing, cleaning data, data analytics and modeling. You will gain industrial experience by applying your skills to the learn throughout the studies in practical environment. One of the range of advanced courses within our postgraduate uh, master's program with computer science, this particular course provides you with specialism in data science and analytics. Advanced topics studying include mathematics and programming of data science, data mining, machine learning, and neural artifices, and data analytical ap applications. It's taught by highly regarded and long established computer science department. 60% of our research impact in computer science and inform informatics at the University of Hertfordshire has been rated a world leading or internationally excellent in the research excellent framework, which is the REF. Now, work placements. Other than the MSc computer science course, all of our postgraduate courses and our undergraduate courses offer a work placement. That's really important because that gives you the chance to get some international work experience at a multinational company to really enhance your employability and increase the likelihood of getting you the kind of jobs that you want in the future. Our graduates have become software developers, programmers, web developers, business analysts, database administrators, project managers, and IT consultants, all have studied postgraduate degrees such as PhDs. There are career there are careers across many employment sectors, including the IT industry, business, education, and government. Recent employees have included BlackBerry, GSK, HP, IBM, John Lewis, and T-Mobile, just to name a few. Other graduates have continued the postgraduate studies typically at MSc at the Hertfordshire or other universities as well. That's a really important thing to bear in mind. You're the, the kind of access and the kind of chances that you'll get to increase your employability and hope to put that on your CV is a very important part of your study at the, at the University of Hertfordshire. Now, 
the Career Hub service at UH. So how can, how can Careers Hub help you? You have access to, the, to online or in-person 24-7. You can check our Career Hub guide through the big career decision from work out what you want to do next, securing a job or finding your next course. You can ask, us, ask them any questions. You can ask us anything that you want, something you're not sure about, heard about a career, might be interested in. Visit or ask the, ask the Career Hub there. Find a job, internship or work experience at the Career Hub where we advertise all of their vacancies. Take part in the next careers workshop, employers presentation of careers, and book your place via the Career Hub's website. Do some research. Tons of res resources are available via the Careers Hub. You can vis visit their, their, their advisors and you can help you write your CV, help write applications, and support with any kind of job that you're looking for. Now, this is the big news. The UK government has announced the return of the post-study work visa. The new immigration route will allow eligible students at higher education providers studying any subject to work for two years after completing their course. From information published so far, we understand that there will be no cap on the number of students who will be able to apply under this route. Home Secretary Prati Patel said the new graduate route will mean talented international students, whether in science and maths or technology and engineering, can study in the UK and then gain valuable work experience as they go on to build a successful careers. It demonstrates our global outlook and will ensure that we continue to attract the best and brightest. The Home Office has announced key features of the route. It will be open to international students who have successfully completed a course of study at undergraduate level or above at a higher education provided. Higher education provider. The application process will be simple. There will be an application fee and applicants will pay the immigration health surcharge. Applications will be subject to identity, criminality and security checks. The leave period granted will be two years and will be non-extendable settlement rights that will not be accrued. Individual will be able to work or look for work in any sector at any level. Individuals will be able to switch into the skilled work route if they meet the requirements. So that is the big draw, the big introduction which, which the government um, has introduced. And it's also a great chance for you to enhance your careers and get to where you wanna go. Now, the University of Hertfordshire is just 25 minutes away from London King's Cross. So I want you to picture this. You hop on the train at Hatfield Station. You go past Potter's Bar. You go past Finsbury Park, the Emirates Stadium, and you end up at London King's Cross, 25 minutes. It costs about nine pounds with, uh, with a student rail discount. You walk out of King's Cross and you can see a number of top, top tech companies. We're talking YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, IBM, Samsung, big international companies that you can work for, that you can apply and you can get the kind of work experience that you want there. Another thing to really important to bear in mind is you have that direct access to London, you have that direct access to all of those opportunities, but as you'll be living in Hatfield, you will not be paying the cost of living in London. Living in London is very, very expensive. You're looking at seven to eight hundred pounds a month rent. If you live in Hatfield, average rent is about four to five hundred pounds a month. So you'll be saving a lot of money, but you will still have the same opportunities as everybody else, which is fantastic. Now, thank you for telling us all about this and all these courses, James. So how do I apply? Well, it's very, very simple. There's an online application that you submit via our website. You will then receive a five digit ID. This is your application ID number. You will then be given a conditional offer. You will need to meet the conditions of your offer. So that might be English language, that might be references, that might be a statement of purpose. Once you've submitted all of those um, um, submitted all of those documents to us, we will then send you a eight digit unconditional uh, offer letter. Now, that means that you can then pay your deposit to secure your place. Once you've done that, you will receive a CAS that you can make your tier four visa application with, then you receive your visa, and then you can come to the UK for your studies. And we'll be absolutely delighted to welcome you. So, what are the entry requirements for undergraduate and postgraduate computer science courses? So, undergraduate programs, entry requirements, UCAS points, is 100, 104 UCAS points, that's at A level, that's BCC, BTEC, DMM, additional requirements. 
all students from non-majority English speaking countries require proof English language proficiency equivalent to an overall IELTS score of six with a minimum of 5.5 in each band. If you do not have the required IELTS or equivalent for direct entry, you can also enter one of our pre-sessional English courses, our International Foundation, uh, HIC. For post postgraduate programs, the normal requirement is a good honours degree or equivalent in a computer science cognate discipline. The choice of award title students must be accepted um, onto will be determined by the award applied for the priority learning for the student or demonstrated by the transcript of existing qualifications held by the applicant. So just to make that a little bit shorter, a good, um, a good honours degree from a computer science related field. Applicants whose first language is not English must demonstrate sufficient comp competence in English to benefit from the programme. This will normally be demonstrated by rec recognised awards equivalent to an overall IELTS of six. Candidates who do not satisfy the requirements will be considered on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, um, all the undergraduate programmes cost £13,000 for 2021 academic year. Tuition fees are charged annually and fees may be higher in, in future years for both new and continuing students. All the post-project programmes cost 14500 for 2021. Uh, academic years will offer a range of scholarships at £1,000, £2,000, £4,000. Um, just to list a number of the scholarships that we offer, the Vice Chancellor Scholarships. Scholarships available to all applicants who pay overseas fees. The university will consider your application for a scholarship looking at your interest in your chosen course, motivation for studying, as well as the future career aspirations of your, after your graduation. No additional scholarship application is required to be considered. We offer, we offer scholarships at £1,000, £2,000, £4,000. We also offer regional scholarships available to all applicants who pay overseas fees to the university. The, the university will consider application of scholarship looking at interests. So as, as, as before, the, uh, these will be made available in specific regions around the world. Currently, we offer regional scholarships in the following areas, Africa, North, North America, South America, East Asia, Southeast Asia, South Asia. If you'd like to be considered for one of these scholarships, please contact us at international at hearts.ac.uk or speak to one of our overseas representatives. We also offer an early bird scholarship, which is a £1,000 discount off a total of your fees. We also offer a full, fee, full fees payment discount of £500 for students who pay their fees uh, before starting their course in full. Now, this is the best tip that you will receive about enhancing the possibility of receiving a scholarship. Your grades are important, clearly. But what's also important is how you write your statement of purpose. Now, there's four things that you need to write. Why do you want to study this particular course? So let's say, for example, you've chosen to study MSc Cybersecurity. When you make that application for that particular course, you need to look at the modules. Why do you want to study those modules? Why do you, why, what kind of accreditations is, is, is drawn you to that particular course? What kind of teachers uh, have, you, have you researched and you're, you're interested in working with? What kind of programs are you going to do um, for your, what kind of programming things are you going to do for your, for your, for your um, your long-term project and that kind of thing. So about the course itself, okay? Secondly, why do you want to come to the UK? What is it about the United Kingdom and this, the, the history of education in, in this country which makes you want to apply for the UK? So you can talk about their, uh, its welcoming nature to international students, its role um, internationally and well-recognized institutions. Thirdly, why do you want to come to the University of Hertfordshire? Now, there's a number of reasons why you want to come to the University of Hertfordshire. It's a beautiful university camp, two, two beautiful university campuses set in Hatfield, just 25 minutes away from London. 96.5% employment employability for our graduates in six months of graduating. And we have a number of schools uh, there for you to study as well. And fourthly and finally, how this course that you're studying is going to get you to where you want to go in your career, okay? So that's really important. I would suggest that's the most important one. If you're doing MSc Cybersecurity, what's that gonna get you to do in your career? What kind of companies do you wanna work for? What kind of positions do you wanna hold? And uh, that really should be the focus of, uh, of the, the final part of that. So they're the four things to really enhance the chance of getting good scholarship. So, just some other important things about the university as well. 
we have an outstanding 38 million pound forum Hertfordshire for all of you guys that enjoy the social side. We've had artists like Ed Sheeran play, uh, play uh, the University of Hertfordshire. Um, we have a 4,000 uh, pounds, oh sorry, over 4,000 international students at our university. So we're a very international, diverse university. So you can meet people from all over the globe. Um, we are gold, TEF rated gold as well. We are the second safest university campus um, in, the, uh, um, in the east of England, and uh, we have a huge 96.5% graduate employment rate as well.